Hi, I will now demonstrate how to integrate the Pajo Stroke Device IDP24 from Valve Controls into a standard ESD system. For this demonstration, we have a standard ESD system, so when we energize the solenoid valve, we can see on the limit switch box that the actuator will open, and when we de energize the 24 VDC solenoid valve, the valve will close. In the IDP range we have two models. Both models has the same hardware and same software, so the only difference is the enclosure. As standard we have the IDP24A. The IDP24A is in an enclosure suited for DIN rail mounting. Then we have the IDP24AF. This model is in a stainless steel enclosure EXD. Now I'll show you how easy it is to integrate the Pajio Stroke System IDP24 into a standard ESD system. The first thing we'll do is to take and add a pressure transmitter on the supply of the actuator. We have now connected the pressure transmitter to the supply of the actuator. We have then connected the 4 to 20 mA signal to the RDP24. Now we will replace the limit switch box with a limit switch box with a persistent transmitter inside. We have now mounted the persistent transmitter on the actuator and we have connected the 4 to 20 mA signal to the RDP. We will now connect the 24 BDC ESD signal from the control room. We'll connect that to the IDP and then we'll connect the solenoid valve with the IDP. The system is now set up. Let's go to the calibration. I will now power up the system. I'll then show you how easy and simple it is to configure and calibrate the unit. The only thing you have to do is to press calibrate and do an automatic calibration. Doing the automatic calibration, the unit will do a partial stroke and a full stroke and the valve signatures will be stored on the SD card. To do the automatic calibration, you have to press calibrate and automatic OK and OK one more time and the automatic calibration will start. The unit has now been successfully calibrated and all the valve reference valve signatures has been stored on the SD card.